kulu maindo faida kulu maindo faida hayata dunia de kulu maindo faida this song says all things of this world they are vanity they have no meaning they have nothing so we should not fight over them what we see here today tomorrow is over I used to work for government. Most of my colleagues, including me, became a target. I left everything behind. <coughs> when I come to the settlement, of course, fear has engulfed my heart because of what I see. You, you see situations that are hopeless. Or you wonder how can a human being be in this kind of mess, this kind of place? I feel that maybe I run from bullet, but I'm going to die from disease here. Jimmy, I received oh, him as the refugee settlement started here. I felt that this is one of our brothers. I should offer them land to come and take relief. The refugee community is living with the host community. So can you imagine now having thousand people coming from nowhere in your place we will also fight to get access to these resources. This can create tension between the two communities. A country cannot host refugees unless its citizens agree to host them. So when you say Uganda is hosting, it's Ugandan people. I see some countries building even fences to prevent refugees from reaching them. We are saying here to comprehensively respond to this crisis, you need to have your borders open, you need to have at least a quick process to ensure that you process these refugees through every stage then you give them some human treatment. Together with the host community, uh, especially Shuale, to ask the refugees, uh, we have seen a unity. We have seen love. We have seen trust. These are people who are Muslims and we are Christians, but we are able to live like we are of the same religion. shelter construction. So we make sure that we have 70% of the youth from the refugee community and 30% from the host community. The CRRF is a framework which is promoting this kind of strong relationship between donors, between local government and also the humanitarian community. We felt that when these lands are given to host refugees, then it can make changes on the idle lands. For refugees, there was no market here. I think my advice to the other people is just to come and join hands with the refugees to develop so that we stay together happily and we develop our area. Tomorrow we will be as our benefit. The refugees that we have in Uganda they may stay longer for years in Uganda. So we cannot continue providing only relief services, but to come up with some durable solution, like a building school for both refugees and host communities, and to help them, you know, to set up their own shops and to create also job opportunities for others. The CRFP guide us to understand this kind of challenge and uh, to pass from the immediate uh, response to durable solutions. We don't live in isolation. We now live as people who are really brothers, who share things in common, who share both challenges and positive things and success together. It's going to be something to, to talk of when we go back to our land.
The kind of approaches we need to have is to make sure that we create conditions that can allow refugees to live a normal life. Hosting refugees shouldn't be left 